evening. Welcome to yet another example of backyard chemistry. This evening, we've got something very exciting lined up for you. We're going to perform the world-famous elephant toothpaste demonstration. What is that, I ask? Elephant tooth, everything needs toothpaste. Elephants need toothpaste, but it better be big. So we're going to need a very large reaction vessel for today's demonstration. I need a five liter Erlenmeyer flask. I wonder if there's one around here someplace. Oh, my assistant brought in the five liter Erlenmeyer flask. Thank you so much, assistant. Now, I'm gonna move this off a little bit and I'm gonna explain a little bit what I'm gonna do. In this bottle, I have a very concentrated solution of hydrogen peroxide. That's gonna go into the Erlenmeyer. What else goes in there? Well, Every toothpaste has a foaming or sudsing action, so we're gonna need a little bit of dishwashing detergent. And of course, elephant's toothpaste should look nice, so we're gonna add some color. And so my assistant is going to add some red and blue, but not just yet. Then, the key to it all is the catalyst. That makes the reaction go fast. What's the reaction, you ask? Well, Hydrogen peroxide is going to break down to give lots and lots of hot oxygen gas and it's going to spew out the top, bringing with it a column of foam, we hope, we hope. So, first thing I'm going to do is add this. I, I must do this myself. So I'm going to add the hydrogen peroxide. So here we go. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? Mmm. Okay. First ingredient. Now, I have to add a whole bunch of dishwashing detergent. I don't know whether I have enough or not. Just gonna let that sit. Now, my assistant is going, when I tell him to, is gonna add, now careful, don't drop it. Hold on to both. All right. Now, let's see how that works. Why don't you go ahead and squirt some in there. Be generous. There you go, ooh, that looks nice. Okay, now squirt some blue in there. Okay, now, you wanna, I'll take those. You wanna swirl that flask around a little bit for me? Yeah, just swirl it around. There you go. Yeah. Oh, it is purple. Very nice. We're going to get a purple toothpaste. How, nice, how neat is that? I have in my hand now the catalyst, which is the key to all of this reaction. And I myself have to stand back. I'm going to ask my assistant to please move away. And uh, preferably over this way, please, assistant. Thank you very much. All right. I have to be quick because I think we're going to get a very nice chemical reaction. Are we good to go? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> wow, what do you think of that? Look what we've got here. It's still coming out. That elephant really needs toothpaste. We've got foam, foam, foam. And look at the steam. Remember, this is an energy releasing reaction. So heat is given off, and that causes the water to become steam. So we're seeing steam, hot, steamy foam. Isn't that something? Assistant, what do you think of this? Pretty neat, huh? Would you say chemistry is fun? 
Thank you. I needed that reassurance. Look, it's a bubble. I know. It's a bubble. Again. It's a huge bubble. That is chemist in its finest. That is the elephant's toothpaste. There you have it, folks. Yep, another example of backyard chemistry. Chemistry for today's world. Backyard chemistry. Backyard. Yeah.